Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to solve one numerical problem of the soil mechanics or geotechnical engineering. So here the problem states that a contractor that a contractor has compacted base course for a new road and found that the mean value of the test sample shows water content of 16%, specific gravity of 2.70, and the unit weight of the water is 17.2 kN per cubic meter. The specification required that wide ratio or E should be less than or equal to 0 0.80 and has the contractor complied with the specification or not. So here is a question that contractor compacted a base course for a road and he wants to know that either the specification which is E is less than 0 0.80 or not. So for this reason we have to find out the wide ratio for our base course of a new road that either it is less than 0 0.80 or greater than 0 0.80 in order to comply with the specification given to us which is E should be less than 0 0.80. So we know that the, so we can start with the solution. So the given data is that the water content is given to us 16.0% which means if we divide this by 100 so it comes out to be 0 0.16 is the water content in decimal and the specific gravity of the soil sample is given to us 2.70 and the unit weight of the water is also given to us unit weight of the sorry of the soil is 17.2 kilonewton per cubic meter. So now we have to look for the formula in order to find out the wide ratio. So there are different formulas and uh, one of the formula which includes the wide ratio uh, is this one is that gamma is equal to the GS specific gravity into gamma of water into 1 plus water content divided by 1 plus wide ratio. There is one formula in which we can find out our wide ratio for our corresponding soil sample with the given data. So here the density of the unit weight of the soil is given to us, the specific gravity of the soil is given to us, the unit weight of the water gamma w, gamma w we should keep in mind that it is 9.8 kN per cubic meter for water. This is unit weight of the water in the unit of kilonewton per cubic meter we should remember this value by heart and then 1 plus w w is water content which is also given to us 0 0.16 and here is 1 plus e so the only unknown is wide ratio so now we can uh, switch this formula in order to find out wide ratio so 1 plus e equal to the we just want to shift the values so here we got with this equation so now we can put our values here so we got here that 1 plus e equal to now gs is known to us 2.70 we will just put the values here gamma w is unit weight of water which is 9.8 and 1 plus w is water this is you know this is water content so 0 0.16 in decimal divided by gamma which is unit weight of the soil 17.2 so by putting this value we got here that 1 plus e comes out to be 1.78 so now we can shift this my or this one into the other side so we will get e is equal to 1.78 minus 1 so we got e is equal to 0.78 which is very close to 0 0.80 our value given for this uh, soil sample so it is less than 0 0.80 so it means that the specification requirement was 0 0.80 wide ratio but our soil sample which has been taken from the compacted base course of a new road is less than the specification value which means that our soil is well compacted according to the specification and we are uh, our uh, base course from the contractor is well compacted so hope you guys understand that if some um, practical example is given to us with the different 
uh, parameter so we can find out our corresponding y ratio and compare to the specification given to us and then we can say either it is less than or greater than zero but here we can see that our y ratio is less than specification requirement so we are okay with our value hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching our video